Hi everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. Man, have we got a treat for you. Alexa's sketchbook. But before we get to the sketchbook, definitely if you haven't come on over to DrawingTutorialsOnline.com and sign up for our free drawing tutorials, you want to do that after you watch this video. Come on over, click on the red sign up button on my homepage and you will be delivered in your email inbox a new drawing tutorial uh, with valuable information that's going to help you draw the figure from your memory. Alright, let's check out the video. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We've got another really, really cool sketchbook. We have Miss Alexa. And Miss Alexa has decided to share with us her really phenomenal sketchbook. And uh, this first page is going to be really, really, really light. So let me just kind of zoom in a little bit here. And I mean, I just want you guys to enjoy the quality of her line drawing, which is really, really phenomenal. Um, and it, it just, it really amazes me when I ask my students, hold on, hold on, when I ask my students to share their sketchbook and they say yes, because it's such a personal thing. Um, What th this is now Alexa. Hello. Hi. Are these what are out of your imagination? Um, yeah, most of them, except uh, this I used a reference for because I wanted to learn how to draw cat mouths. I see. And this was also a reference of a photograph my friend took. Cool. And this is the homework. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the homework. And, and the homework was done. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, the homework was done really well. I mean, that's a great, that's second week of school, so. It was really, really fun. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So um, this stuff yes. on this page is just like some character design. Yeah, this is one of the characters that's been like reoccurring, and then this was just like, it was in a weird place <laughs> when that happens. Okay. Oh, I like the... Uh, Meat clearer. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something. So, I mean, that's such a really fun, <laughs> cute page right there. Just practicing expressions and trees are something I've always wanted to practice in more of like a cartoony kind of style. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> so late. <laughs> cool, very cool. So, um, you can change, you can change. I was speaking with Alexa before the video and I asked her what she wanted to do and her main... Well, why don't you tell everyone what you want to um, do? I want to be a storyboard artist, ideally. I just like drawing key poses and um, emotions that happen. Um, not so much the getting there, although that can be fun too. And you also... so storyboarding and a little bit of character design? Yeah, definitely. I love designing different characters and then uh, having oh. them interact with each other. Hold on, don't go so fast. That is such a cool little scooter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love that. Look at that little head over there. And that's a, it's a wolf late for school. A wolf <laughs> late for school. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and this is some colored pencil work. That I love doing hair in colored pencil. It's so much fun. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> um, this is more of a personal page. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my god. The hair is really fun to do. Um, it's just a <laughs> quick drawing of me. <laughs> Oops. Um, and I really wanted to try and start drawing more character interaction starting here. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. <laughs> okay, let me just do a little adjustment. Okay. Alright, cool. Um, this is, uh, when I got Coley Race, I've been using, like, the, um, the Crayola ones before. Mm -hmm. I just kind of had, like, a field day with it. And so you're using all these funky colors, like the blue and the magenta. Yeah. Um, this is some more character design stuff. And then, uh, it was just, like, kind of what the concept and then what I wanted to do with markers. Because I wanted to play around with them a little bit. Nice. Um, and that's some more character design. We were talking about uh, ancient Greece in class. Hmm. It was pretty inspiring. That's lovely. Um, this is when my friends and I went to the Natural History Museum. 
Wow, look at that body on that. I guess it's an Impala, maybe? I don't know. I should have written it down. <laughs> That's great. These were in a Central Park, I think. Life drawing of people. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, this is some more natural history. Museum. So this is about like week four? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That guy's eyes were so much fun. Now that's a drawing and a half right over there. That is gorgeous. Talk about volume lines. Um, this is some more museum stuff. And then this is more homework. Ah, uh, yes. The dreaded homework. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely helps with angles, though. Um, <laughs> yes, the dreaded <laughs> Bridgman. The dre well, you know what? We, we do not want Alexa to do angles at all. We want her to stick with her. Um, you know, curvy lines that she does, but you know, it's, it's very important not to just be one dimensional and, yeah. and to try different things. I definitely want to like mix it up more because if you have just curves, it, there's no juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. um, I was having fun with that page too. Wow. Uh, and this, this is, is our field trip. Uh, field trip at the Met, September mm -hmm. 27th. I loved that statue. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that, that boy. Really mm -hmm. cool. Um, that's the suit of armor. And another statue that was really interesting. I love the character interaction with that too. Yeah, the Indian boy and the grandfather, Sundial. These statues were really fun to do too. That one had like a bazillion arms, but I didn't get to fit all of them. So you guys are seeing a nice mix of life drawing, homework drawings, memory drawings, character design. So again, the sketchbook is just different for everybody. Um, these are some of, just like a character I played on a game. <laughs> I decided to turn her into like a character of mine, I guess. Hold on. Sense. That's really beautiful. I mean, you are really good at drawing hair. <laughs> it's so much fun. She's definitely interesting to draw. Hmm. Um, these are some friends of mine and I as uh, bounty hunters, I guess, in kind of like a post-apocalyptic setting. Wow. So it was just some character design exercises. He's actually sitting over there. <laughs> um, this is when I started, my friend suggested that I start working in Penmore to make more confident lines. Sweet. I'm just starting to get more movement in my drawings. Beautiful. Um, this is definitely where I started doing more pen stuff. Uh, I was kicking myself in the butt. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And uh, this was at the dog park. You can see that they all signed it with their paws. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, they all, like, five dogs came up to me and, like, knocked the sketchbook on the ground. That's great. It's cute. Drawing dogs is one of the hardest things to do because they do not stop moving. <laughs> So it's partial memory drawing, believe it or not. Because I wanted to try more like, I see some kids in class doing like mech stuff a lot, and that's really interesting. It's still curved. And uh, this was a day we went to Six Flags. And those were some, like make something out of a scribble and like 24 hour comics. <laughs> Just like little doodles. Um, those are more like turn a scribble into a drawing. <laughs> kind wow. Of. Uh, these are some girls kissing. <laughs> you know, I never, I, I never drew two people kissing. I think I might have painted like a romance book cover years and years and years ago with that. But that, that, wait, go back to that. I barely, I'm, I'm filming it and I barely saw it. That is so tough to do. That's nuts good. Awesome. Um, these are some, it's like kind of like. Red Riding Hood and the Wolf kind of thing, but like switch genders on each page. Hmm. And uh, this is okay. starting on, to get loose with my things. <laughs> hold on, Just hold on. practicing like extreme expressions. Wow, good. Tough to film because it's so light, but beautiful. Yeah. Um, these were my friends and I tied our hair in crazy ways. <laughs> And she's a character I've had for a while. Hmm. She's pretty like bouncy and fun. And I drew her interacting with this guy. 
Just look a little at bit quieter. You know, that's phenomenal that you're drawing. Look at that light one that I can barely see there. It's so good that you're drawing people interacting. That's, that's such a tough skill. Um, this is when I turned 20 years old. <laughs> and <laughs> wow, nice. Um, a little bit of storyboarding, not much. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this was definitely still like getting in the swing of doing more movement. Hold on, hold on. So you're a senior citizen compared to everyone else, because we just had one student in the class who just turned 18. So that means yeah. they joined college and they were 17. So you're like a senior citizen. <laughs> totally. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's real. Look at the gesture. Look at the, the, the flow of the line. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, this is a little cat girl that I like drawing sometimes. So, do you guys see how insane this is, how much, how good it was at the beginning, and how much better it's getting? And uh, we're like week six, week five, perhaps, into the semester. Look at the looseness of the line. So, it's just, it's a product of doing a lot of drawings, doing a lot of life drawings, and that's the secret to getting better, is mm -hmm. repetition is the mother of skill. This model was really interesting. He, they have a new model every Wednesday at the dorms. And this guy was like Zeus or something. Hold on, hold on. So what's wonderful about Alexa with a vowel, her <laughs> drawings, she can do memory drawings and life drawings with equal competency. So I, I love that. I love that. And uh, she's not a one-hit wonder. Wait, I got to see what is on that guy's butt. <laughs> Oh, that's, nope, can't draw today. It's just okay, <laughs> so it's, he tattooed that on his butt. Yeah, it's a tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh... That's the pen. Mm -hmm. I drew that in animation history. Okay, hold on, don't go so fast. Yeah. Wow, look at that little one down over there. It's... And that was more homework. More of that boring homework from that guy. All right, <laughs> nice. Um, this is just... Some little rabbits I wanted to design. In animation history, we're learning a lot about like the Mickey Mouse kind of era and Bugs Bunny and that kind of thing. Like, <laughs> um, this is more design work. Okay, She's kind of like a serpent kind of lady. That's beautiful. So now that's all out of your imagination. Mm -hmm. Oh, we all really hate you right now. <laughs> we all um, really hate you. That's more by that guy over there. That's makes from a Matt. Guest appearance. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Matt. <laughs> um, this is some storyboarding stuff. Like some ideas I had and practicing some expressions to go along with it. And look at the movement. It's not just plopped in the middle of the page. Um, and more design work for Star Children, which is a thing I've had going for a little bit. I wanted to flesh out the characters more. And uh, kind of like practicing movements and like shifting from pose to pose. That's, that's just so loose and fluid, and I love it. Um, this is class notes, learning more about the Renaissance now. Hmm. Very cool. Um, this was in a, an animation guild at SVA. They have like uh, live performances where it's like improv, and they let you like sit down and just do some gesture work. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, that's getting back into the model right too. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, those are cute, <laughs> cute stuff too. <laughs> I like to try. I like to try and do a mix of cute and dark. Wow! Look at that green one. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, those are some. I definitely take inspiration from nature a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so they like little flower deer girls. And that was referenced from life. And that's Jen from Penn. Jen from Penn. <laughs> Alexa with a vowel. <laughs> I have to give everyone a nickname. Uh, that's Matt standing in front of the washing machines. Matt has no nickname. <laughs> he needs one. And that's me being frustrated. <laughs> My art and making a sacrifice to the art gods. Wow. And a little color pencil work. Hmm. 
Um, these are some people from Lookbook, which is like a fashion website. Um, this is a kind of pirate crew type of thing that I wanted to design because I wanted to do more like characters that interact with each other and their designs coexist. And that's more to it and some animation stuff. That's the animation look that all the students have in the classroom. Yes. Beautiful. Um, that's another pirate crew member and some, uh, some more personal things. Mm. So. Beautiful work. Thank you. And some more pirate crew members. These wow. guys are fun to design. I tried to base them all off of birds. So she's a chickadee. Wow. Oh, that's practicing dogs. That's good practice. <laughs> and a little, little guy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet, but. Very nice. That's some, I'm trying to draw angry expressions. It's hard. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get angry a lot. No, I um, believe it. I believe it. It's all to me. It's all in the eyebrows. Um, some more colored pencil stuff. That's really cool. Very fantasy infused. Mm -hmm. And that was a bat that I tried to draw from memory, and that was an actual reference. Hmm. This is. <laughs> This is kind of just an in-between page. <laughs> Those. <laughs> um, wasn't really feeling it this day, but mm -hmm. I'll accept it. You have off days. Yep. Wow, I'm really enjoying this sketchbook. My hand's getting <laughs> shaky, but I'm enjoying the sketchbook. <laughs> These are some very light pink figure drawings. Yeah, those are very hard to see, but it's all good from the model night. This one was really useful. And some more. Gorgeous. And some more for the bags. This guy was really good. He's a big dude, jeez. Yeah, he was built. He was super fun to draw though because he had a lot of like angles mixed with curves. Mm. That one especially. Good stuff. His face was eluding me. <laughs> um, this is getting back more into stuff. This is um, the teacher, Mr. Beckerman. <laughs> yes, the most drawn, most drawn human in the United States. <laughs> and that's some more lookbook stuff. Love book. I gotta check that out. It's really interesting, some of the clothes that people wear. This is a uh, Matt supervillain okay. from his story. She was really fun to draw. She's like kind of mysterious. And this is a character based off of the sun, <laughs> just oh. in general. <laughs> and I wanted to have her interacting with like this moon kind of character. Crazy stuff. Crazy good. Um, that was Halloween. Spooky and a little ghost girl. Mm. This was um, <laughs> loosening up for the day, I guess. Love it. Love it. Good stuff. This is more like just getting cranking stuff out, you know. And me being confused by math. <laughs> I'm enjoying this just like you guys are in YouTube land. Um, that's Sailor Moon, one of my inspirations as a kid. And uh, this was referenced and then I kind of just like took off and did my own thing with her. Very nice exercise. Uh, this is me stressing about the deadline <laughs> with Matt. Uh, it's just like a little... The sketchbook deadline or an animation yeah, deadline? Sketchbook. All right. <laughs> Yeah, two sketchbooks in one semester, so that's how you get better. So that's uh, some more cartoony stuff. All right, well, we're just about at 20 here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else in there that you want to share with us? Um, 
Because I know the end, there's a lot of loose stuff to get that sketchbook finished. There's a lot of figure drawings in here. Okay. There's that guy. And more of the chickadee girl from earlier. Just want to draw. Uh, lots and lots of figure drawings. Okay. And I guess a little doodle. <laughs> I think that's most of it. Wow, look at that. It's a little centaur guy. It's super, <laughs> super gay a little bit. But he's like it. And yep, some more expression work. Alexa with a vowel, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching that whole sketchbook video. Now, if you do decide to visit my website and sign up for your free drawing tutorials, here's a whole bunch that you're probably going to be getting. Um, all of these, how to draw the hand from your memory, how to draw the portrait from your memory. Oh, goodness gracious, how to put the figure into an environment. So definitely come on over, sign on up, and also come on over to check out uh, a link for Alexa's Tumblr. See you soon.